Hey everybody, it is Waterstone 5 string bass time. I've never had a five string bass guitar before and this is a quite a new adventure for me. I am learning and adjusting myself and so let's take a look at this amazing thing. We're used to hearing that as the low E is home base. Get it, home base. And it's sort of like a safety zone and I always know, oh, A C is gonna be here and all of a sudden, no, the lowest string is not that anymore. It goes down to a B. That note speaks, listen to this. B. So when I do my Sir Duke lick, C. Whew, it's in tune. I've been using this thing on tracks already and I'm gonna show you some jazz and some rock that I've already done. I just love seeing what this thing can do. I'm just gonna play a cue here. This is for a movie I'm working on. Um, we're in a laundromat and some jazz. So here's here's the cue right here. Walking. So you get the idea right there. It's like has those. Uh, um, uh, lines and it just goes into walking thing. This is kind of a straight ahead jazz thing. That's me playing that piano in there too, just in case you were wondering. So I'm running through the same setup. I think I'm getting a little less signal in at the moment. I don't think it's driving the compressor as hard, but that is a straight um, direct tone and it's going through a little bit of compression. Let's see how much that compression. Yeah, I'm using this uh, PSP old timer. Uh, that's no compression. Direct tone right there. A little bit of... So let's see what this bass actually has for uh, for sonic possibilities here. So, cause... And I find I'm always getting this D in there. You just need it all the time. And like, see, I just... I go there. So here, I... I I need to get a uh, myself like to know exactly what these knobs are doing. This one seems to be tone, but then turn this. I guess this pickup then that one. But the way they interact, hear how that? That's like seriously. Oh, where'd the B? Where do I go with the B? Ah. Just this pick up now, the other one. Real focus sound right there. Kind of pull it back a little bit. I don't want to play jazz, I just do it until I feel, feel that warm just come on. I did my first live jazz gig with this and you know, I play and I sing. So I'm like, sometimes I'm like, where's my note? <laughs> if you ever plan to travel west, Take my way, the highway, that's, that's a, all the way down, highway, that's the best, highway, that's the best, remember this is G, get your kicks on Route 66, that's a G, 
That's a G. I love playing this thing with my fingers. I consider this like a very professional sounding and feeling bass. It's a, it sits right in the track. It's like super dependable. The tuning's great. See, I hit the E and I'm like ready to go to the bottom one, but that's a B. But see how the notes seem independent of each other? They don't mush up. It's a, it's a magical thing. Hey, let's play some rock, huh? because this is great with the fingers, great with the slapping, and then also, I found it to be fun as can be on the rock and roll too, anything with a pick. Okay, I wanna show you what I did on a rock track. This is the very first thing I recorded when I had this. This is my song, Burning Fire. I just released it, and if you wanna support the channel, go to my Bandcamp and download it. I would appreciate it very much. Like and subscribe. Uh, here's how this song starts, right off with the low B coming in there. I'm like, hey, it's in B. Let's see what that note sounds like. It's in tune and it speaks really clear. Let me just play you through uh, that rig using a pick. Just like that. Next note of D. And then when it comes in for the, um, I'm doing it up high. By up high, I mean the normal, I mean the normal low B instead of the, although it sounds pretty cool. I've got a uh, amp on there by Kavas, and this one is called their uh, Cerebrus. I have a little bit of a grit on there. And here, let me just solo out the bass track a little bit. That's that first low note. So let's go to the verse. Just a nice jam and sound, right? And it has a little breakdown where it just a couple little high notes. That's how it sounds by itself. And then here in the mix. It is Takes me higher. And you know, it's got the interplay between the lead guitar and the bass. I am pretty happy. I wanted to play that for you just with a, a mastered sound. Takes me higher. That boom, boom, boom. The bass does it. I love it. I'm super stoked to have two Waterstone basses now. This five string and the 12 string, which I already did a review on. It's actually really opened up my palette a lot. Uh, it's inspired me. Uh, they're amazing instruments. Uh, I had to I had to grow. You know, it's like we, if we already know how to play, we know where to put our fingers, but then get these different sonic palettes. It really, really opens things up. And it's actually just a very inspiring time to be holding the instrument in my hands. You know, I like all kinds of instruments. I like expensive instruments, I like cheap instruments, whatever, I something as long as we get some love out of them. But there is nothing like an absolutely beautiful, well-made, excellent musical instrument. Mm -hmm. 
and Waterstone is hitting it out of the park. 